Welcome to Halfman Half Tech. I'm Ben, your host, and these are five possible hidden features that you probably missed when it comes to macOS Big Sur Beta 3. Okay, so first things first, the first thing you notice upon restarting the MacBook, you notice that when it starts up, it has a chime this time around. And if you hear that, that is the chime from the MacBook. And so if you have the setting set to on in the setting sound preferences, you can actually hear the chime this time around when you restart the MacBook. And once the MacBook powers on, something else that I want to show you that came with this update, as you can see here, you see all these green buttons that came with the update. So you have all these buttons that you see here and it's something new that I actually noticed when I restarted my device after updating to beta 3 and as you can see here the screen brightness and the keyboard brightness and also the mute and volume up and down have been put into green when you restart the MacBook. I noticed something though that with this update, if you were to touch something on this locked screen here, so it's currently locked and I haven't input my passcode. If you touch, let's say the brightness, right? You can see that the portion that you touch disappears. If we turn the brightness down, you can see that the green portion of it disappears also. And the same goes for with all these buttons here, right? So it's something new that I noticed that came with this update. And you notice this after you update and restart your device for about the second time. And this is actually continuous. I've restarted my Mac like three or four times and the same thing happened. So I don't know if that's a new feature that is going to permanently remain on the MacBook, but it's something new that came with this update that you've noticed after updating and restarting your device. The next thing that changed with this update has to do with the dictionary app. So the dictionary app has a tongue sticking out on beta 3, unlike beta 2. So if you notice the video that I did before updating where I showed the application layout and the format, you can see that on the dictionary app on macOS Pixel Beta 2, we had no tongue, it was just a simple plain dictionary icon, but on Beta 3, we have a tongue sticking out. It almost looks like, you know, the dictionary app went to Snapchat and got those tongue filters and boom, it got a tongue. So I don't wanna do it cause it's funny. I find it a bit funny, but yeah, pulling out your tongue and stuff, it's, I don't know, but let the dictionary app do it and I'll do it for another time. Today I'm not doing any jokes. And also here, the next thing that changed that you might notice is the mission control. So if you notice the mission control that we have on macOS Big Sur Beta 3. It now has a stretched out layout unlike what we had on macOS Big Sur. And this is basically, if we go to the video that I did where I showed applications before updating, you can see that the mission control was sort of, you know, short compared to the settings app. And after updating to beta 3 here, you can see that it has sort of been stretched up a little bit, giving it the big sir look and, you know, making it uniform with most of the other applications that we have here on macOS Big Sur Beta 3. The next thing which you might have possibly missed has to do with the text layout when you go into your settings and then you go to edit users or iCloud account. If you clicked edit on beta 2, you would notice that, you know, the text would sort of appear misaligned, but on beta 3, that has been fixed and you can basically see what you are editing if you to edit like a portion of a user or any section of it. So that is good and that is something that was updated apparently on beta 3. The next thing that you might have missed, although I highly doubt that because it's been trending, has to do with the new battery icon that we have on beta Three. Now on beta 2 and beta 1, we had a terrible battery icon. People were like dragging it all over the internet, especially on Twitter, you know, making fun of it and stuff. But what we have now on beta 3 looks like the iPhone 3GS, the one that you would connect and it would make that lovely chime that I miss. But that's good. And it's also something new that came with this macOS Big Sur beta 3 update. Something new that you might also have missed when it comes to macOS Big Sur beta 3 is the new music app, right? So the new music app that we have looks like the new music app that is actually there on iOS 14 beta 3 at the moment. So it seems like, you know, the iPad wants to slowly become your next computer because when they released the iPad, they were like, your next computer is not a computer, it's the iPad, right? But when it comes to the MacBook, it seems like it's slowly going towards being an iPhone, right? So 
I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, you know. But anyways, those are just a few features that came with macOS Big Sur that you might have possibly missed. Some you might actually have seen because they made headlines. But yeah, it does come with quite a number of bugs and issues. And in a few days, I'll be doing a follow-up video where I cover some of the bugs and issues and performance-wise how this update is for me on my MacBook Pro. So that's about it for me. By the way, I did post a community pool on my YouTube channel. So so if you want to have a say in the next video and if you're experiencing any specific issues with your MacBook when it comes to macOS Big Sur Beta 2 or Beta 3, then leave a vote on the community pool. And also if you have a specific comment that you want me to cover, and then also leave a comment on the community pool. And when I do the follow-up video, I will include that. So that's about it for me, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and hit subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I will definitely Definitely see you in the next video. <sighs>